I want all of you to understand what do you mean by the term is divan and why do we need it so guys before going to is divan what is wan wan stands for wide area networks right what do you mean by wide area network wide area network means whenever we are connecting to networks which are physically separated by some distance or you can say are existing on different location right so when i'm saying they are separated by some distance or on a different location what do you mean by that let's say this is my office 1 and this is my office 2 this office is in let's say india and this office is in let's say us right so these two offices are separated by some distance a lot of distance right and are on different locations also like you can see one is in india other one is in us wide area network means i want to connect these two offices right i want to connect these two offices so guys what is the first option available to us so i call those options as transports transport means whatever service i will choose here that service will be responsible for carrying my traffic from office 1 to office 2 i will call my service as transport you can call it as transport or you can call it service right so i don't want to dig too much into different service types that we have uh, uh that we uh, that we have in networking right or that we have in uh, service providers but let me let me tell you some services like we have mpns we have internet right we have 3g or 4g or we also call it lt right after that we also have something called lease lines right so these are the different services available to us or you can say these are the different transports available to us guys now just tell me honestly how many of you understand what is mpls okay that's fine have you ever seen mpls deployed in real time scenario now if you ask me what is this mpls let me tell you one thing mpls is a private cloud that is used to connect connect that is used to connect two locations together right so if you ask me Piyush, what is MPLS? So I would say it like this. Let's say this is your office one, right? And this is your office two, right? And you want to connect these two offices. So what you can do? At both of the offices, you can buy a MPLS link. At this office also, and at this office also, right? From whom? From the service provider, right? and now what you can do is you can run any routing protocol now this is the most important part listen to me carefully this is the device of service provider and this is here the device of service provider what we will do we will run a routing protocol with the service provider and we will pass on our networks to whom to the service provider from office 1 and from office 2 now service provider will exchange those routes over this cloud we don't have to understand how things are working in this cloud right so somehow if i assume let's say this is my a network in office 1 and we have a b network in office 2 so what will happen at the end office 2 devices will have information about a network and office 1 devices will have information about b network 
right? So what this MPLS service is doing to me? With the help of this service, Office 1 A network is able to communicate with Office 2 B network and vice versa. So what is MPLS? MPLS is a private cloud that is used to connect two different sites together. I hope everyone is clear with this, right? After that, we also have one more type of service that we call internet. Right? What is internet? Now, let's say in the same example, you people have two offices, office A, office B, right? At location A and B, office 1, office 2, right? Networks are A and B. Now, they are connected to whom? To internet. So just assume it like this, this is internet, right? Now if you ask me, Piyush, will this A network can communicate with this B network over internet? No. Why? This is a private network. This is also a private network. And this is a public network, right? This is a public network. Two private networks cannot directly communicate over a public network, right? Cannot directly communicate over a public network. But how it was possible in this case? Because what kind of service we were using MPLS and what is MPLS? MPLS is a private cloud, right? That is used to provide us what type of service? That is used to provide a service in such a way that if two offices are separated, by some physical distance and both have the MPLS connectivity, they can communicate with each other. How? The edge devices on the office side will be forming a neighborship with the service provider devices and advertising all their routes. And service provider will be responsible for advertising routes from one office to another office. But that thing is not true for the case number two. In case number two, two private networks cannot by default communicate over a public network. So what we usually do in these cases? We usually build a IPsec site-to-site -site VPN. We usually build a IPsec site-to-site -site VPN. Now, just, just be with me, you will be understanding everything. Let's divide this term. Now, what do you mean by the term VPN? VPN means virtual private network right virtual private network what do you mean by the term vpn vpn means connecting two private networks over a public network so that is what we are doing we are connecting two private networks over a public network so this particular term is itself defining it right that we are trying to connect two private networks over a public network now what do you mean by ipsec IPsec is a protocol suit. What is IPsec? IPsec is a protocol suit. What it is providing us? Security. In terms of security, what IPsec is providing us? It is providing us confidentiality, data integrity, authentication, and at last, NTV play. Now, maybe these terms are new to you or you are not familiar with these terms, but we will be discussing it in future. What is confidentiality? What is data integrity? What is authentication? What is anti-replay? But what you have to understand here that the IPsec keyword is here defining what security? That whatever information these two private networks will exchange will be secured. Right? So IPsec is responsible for providing the security. And what do you mean by site to site? Site to site means we are connecting two sites together. We are connecting how many sites? Two sites. Right? Any problem in understanding this? Now you can write your yes or no in the chat. I can see so that I can see and I can continue. Any sort of doubt you people have, you can ask. Feel free to ask. 
नो प्रॉब्लम आई एम हेयर टू हेल्प यू नाउ लेट्स 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 मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सम पीपल आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन दैट पीयूष these are only two sites and you are connecting them with ipsec site to site vpn and we understand that what will happen if we have multiple sites so cisco has a solution right so let me just make a new diagram so let's say this is your site 1 site 2 site 3 site 4 site 5 right we have multiple sites and all the sites are connecting via internet site a 2 3 4 five five sites are there they want to communicate now first option is we can build a site to site vpn between site a site site sorry site 1 site 2 site 2 site 3 site 3 site 4 site Uh, site one, site three, site one, site four, site one, site five, like this. Otherwise, what I can do is I can configure here a solution. I call it DMVPN. DMVPN stands for a Dynamic Multi Point VPN. Now, what do you mean by VPN? All of you know VPN means connecting to private networks over a public network, right? Second, what do you mean by multi point? Multi point means from site a i will create a vpn with the help of that vpn i can connect to site 2 also site 3 also and site 4 also i can connect to everyone so this is what we call multi point on site 2 also with with the help of one vpn it can communicate with site a also site 3 also site 4 also and site 5 also right so this is not a point to point vpn or not a site to site vpn right this is a multi point vpn that with the help of one vpn we can reach multiple destinations but if you check case number 1 in case number 1 we can just communicate with one party because it was site to site right so we have both options available while deploying vpns we have point to point also we call it site to site and we have multi point also we call it dmvpn right so if you have two offices or more than two offices we can connect them together right with the help of mpls or you can connect them with the help of vpns right now pravin is saying can we communicate isp link or mpls with each other keep this thing in mind that ISP and MPLS are two different type of services. You cannot intermix between them. You cannot intermix between them, right? 